Succolamundo is a lime-based, high-glass Venetian plaster popular for creating a marble-like finish on almost any interior surface. You will first need to apply the Meodead Quartz Primer. Watch the primer video for proper application. Let the quartz primer dry for a minimum of five hours before adding the plaster. With a stainless steel trowel, apply the first coat of stucco Lamundo. This is the first coat of the three coat Lamundo process. Cover the surface completely, creating a nice, even layer, not too thin or not too thick. Wait a minimum of 10 hours to dry. With only a little bit of material on the trowel, apply the second coat. Work in square yard sections. You put material on the surface and you clean. Put and clean, repeating this action over and over. Now with a clean trowel, go back over each section to smooth the surface. Make sure that there is no extra material on the surface, otherwise it will leave scratches on the finish. Be sure to clean the trowel as you go. Wait a minimum of four to six hours to dry. The stucco Lamondo dries lighter than the original color, so keep this in mind when you're choosing the colors. And finally, the third coat. Still working in square yards, cover the surface entirely, and then smooth out a thin, even third coat. Now burnish the surface, pressing harder as you go. Move the trowel from side to side, steadily increasing pressure. This creates a beautiful shiny finish. The more you press in the burnishing step, the smoother and shinier the surface will become. Wait a minimum of 12 hours to dry, possibly more. It must be completely dry. It's recommended that you protect the surface using Meodead Hydro Wax. Apply with a sponge. Wait five minutes and buff the surface by hand with a clean rag or use a machine. Mio Dead Hydro Wax provides a high sheen finish that protects the surface while making it more washable and adding more depth and enlivening the surface. You also have the option to add a colored metallic powder to the Hydro Wax in order to achieve the metallic Venetian plaster look. For variation, here is the stucco Lamundo marble look with a black base. Apply the Hydro Wax with a sponge. On the left side, we applied a clear wax sealer first before adding the Hydro Wax. The clear wax sealer seals the surface first. If you don't do this, the areas where you burnished will catch more of the Hydro Wax, making those areas more shiny and therefore uneven. The Stucco Lamundo Black Marble Finish brings a cool sophistication to any interior room. For another option, you can choose the Stucco Lamundo Stencil Effect. Choose your base color preference. We've chosen antique yellow. Follow the directions from Stucco Lamundo Regular, priming the wall and adding your first two coats. When the second coat is completely dry, use light masking tape to tape the stencil onto the surface. Strong tape might rip the plaster. To help ensure that the stencil is even, line up with tiny holes at the bottom and top of the stencil and fill them in using a pencil. You can make a line on the edges as well. Put some stucco lamundo material on your trowel and apply it over the stencil. You can choose the same color or a different color. We've chosen the same. Stucco lamundo can be tinted to any color, but remember it dries lighter than it appears wet. Apply very slowly and don't push too hard so it won't get underneath the stencil. When still wet, gently remove the stencil. Repeat the same process, lining it up using the holes and a pencil. You don't need to cut the stencil.
Once you've covered the entire area that you wish to stencil, wait a minimum of 12 hours to dry. After the stenciled coat is completely dry, check the smoothness of the surface. If it's not completely smooth, sand it a little bit by hand or machine. Don't forget to clean the dust off with a clean rag before applying the next coat of stucco lamundo. Allow a minimum of 12 hours to dry. Once completely dry, apply another thin coat of stucco lamundo, a little bit at a time. Press and apply until the entire surface is covered. Be sure to clean the excess material off of the surface with the trowel as you go. Once you've covered the entire surface, go back and burnish, especially concentrating on the stenciled areas. Press hard using the trowel, increasing pressure as you go. Keep in mind that the harder you press, the shinier the stencil finish will be. Allow a minimum of 12 hours to dry. To protect the surface and make it more washable, we recommend Miodead Hydro Wax. Apply with a sponge over the entire surface. This little sheen finish adds a rich element to your already beautiful design. Wait five minutes and then buff with a clean rag. Succulamundo stencil provides a delicate design with a rich and beautiful finish for your treasured interior rooms. The third option is the stunning stucco lamundo wood effect. Follow the steps of the stucco lamundo regular for applying primer, and then apply the first coat of stucco lamundo, creating a very thin, even coat with the trowel. Allow a minimum of 12 hours to dry. Next, using the trowel and putty knife, put material on the trowel and slowly apply it in a sliding vertical motion, creating a very thick and rough texture. Continue to scrape the trowel with the putty knife, placing it like a glob on the trowel, and repeat the application until you've covered the entire desired surface. Go back over any areas that appear light on material and apply more plaster. Twist the corner of a sponge sporadically into the material, creating an eye of the wood effect. For authenticity's sake, spread this effect out across the surface. For an extra effect, dry some areas of the texture quickly with a dry gun or even a blow dryer. The sudden heat cracks the textured material, creating an aged, cracked wood effect. Now spray water onto the texture and move a clean paintbrush in an up and down motion, gently blending and smoothing the texture. Allow the surface to dry for a minimum one day. Now apply the Velator Glaze. Dilute it four part water, one part glaze. Choose any color combination you desire to layer and or age the wood texture. Here we are using a nice creamy color first. With a damp sponge, apply the glaze in a circular motion evenly. It's important to start light because it's easier to go from light to dark. Now go back with a sponge and add another coat. Dilute it less, making the color darker, and go over some of the surface to add depth. For authenticity's sake, darken only parts of the layer.
Now we're adding black hydro wax to darken and age the texture even more. Apply then clean the extra hydro wax. If you feel it's too much, add water with a spray bottle, clean it, and start again. On large surfaces before applying color glaze, it's recommended that you first apply a clear Velator glaze, dilute it four part water, one part glaze to seal and protect the surface first. This also gives you more open time to play with color, otherwise the colors could dry unevenly. Stucco Lamondo Wood is a stunningly authentic aged wood effect that you can create in a very short amount of time.